Hey everyone, my name is Candace Avalos, my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm running for Portland City Council position one. I am a first generation Black Tina. My family comes from half of them, the Black side, um, in the Jim Crow South. The other half uh, immigrated to this country from Guatemala in the 1970s. And um, the experiences of my multiracial family have made me really passionate about how I can make an impact on my community and how I can ensure that um, our voices are represented in decisions that get made for our lives. Um, so I decided to run for Portland City Council because um, I teach my students, I work at Portland State, I've been an educator for 10 years, and I teach them that, you know, we are the leaders that we've been waiting for. Um, and I strongly believe that, and I think that it's time for, for new leadership to, to solve our old problems. Um, houselessness is a crisis across Portland, definitely here in Southeast as well. Um, and I want to tell you that, so a few months ago, for example, um, I had a tent appear uh, across, or right next to my house, and I live on a dead-end street. And um, there were a lot of different things that were happening. I had a lot of, there were a lot of mixed feelings amongst our neighbors about it. Because on one end, you know, we were, we were concerned and compassionate for people that are struggling and that, you know, we, people need somewhere safe to sleep. Um, they need security. And, you know, I felt, ha found some comfort in that we were on a dead end street. So they were kind of away from the beaten path. Um, and then also I had a neighbor who came by and said, you know, that they had found um, some needles in their trash can and they were feeling concerned for the safety of them and their family. So it's really complex. And I think that, you know, these complex issues really take um, comprehensive and complex answers. And I think we need to combine our policy with our compassion. Um, so, you know, in, I actually met um, the person that was living there and, um, you know, they shared some stories about their struggles and what made them or led them to the streets. And, um, you know, it's something that has really stuck with me, especially in my run for Portland City Council, because I think that a lot of us, we want to help, um, but we don't know how. We, as regular citizens, residents of these neighborhoods, we want to, you know, help provide services to people, but I think that the leaders really need to be modeling that for us, and they need to be giving us those tools. Um, and so what I really want to see is that, one, um, we're bringing services directly to the people, whether that's providing some pop-up hubs that can um, interact directly with people impacted um, on the front line, um, whether that's having street medicine or Portland Street Response is a really good attempt to um, have interventions that will, um, you know, be compassionate and comprehensive. Um, but ultimately, I think that it's our job as leaders to guide everybody towards those solutions and to make sure that um, they're frontline. We're not going to have housing for everybody overnight. Um, and so how are we providing water and sanitation? How are we connecting people to those services, mental health or addiction treatment immediately and get them on a path towards, um, you know, being housed? So that's what I'm passionate about. And that's why I'm running. And I think that we can fix it together.